So, I've decided to make a video because um, I haven't vlogged for a while and it, because I've been kind of busy. Um, so I thought maybe a video would take less time. And also, like, maybe it would be kind of cool to make videos, I don't know. <laughs> so here goes! I'm going to tell you, like, a lot of people have been asking me about how, like, my university is in China. I haven't really written anything about it yet, so I thought I might as well tell you about it in a video. Uh, okay, so, mm, where to start? The university is actually a communications university in Beijing, and it's, like, a really, really famous university for people who want to be broadcasters, like anchor men, anchor women, journalists, stuff like this but like Chinese people, not international people. Um, it's not really that famous for film, so um, it's not got the best facilities for film. Um, so yeah, that's a university called Communication University of China. Um, and my campus is kind of like a little bit out from the centre of Beijing. Most of the universities are in the northwest, and I'm actually in the southeast. Um, and like where I live is like a little like a little bit more rural to the city centre. There's not very many like brands, there's not very many big buildings, it's all kind of like hutongs and it's quite dirty compared to the centre and it's nowhere near as developed but it's nice, I really like the area. It's more Chinese than when you go into the centre of Beijing because the centre of Beijing is very international so you're just in the city like it doesn't feel that different, well obviously it feels very different to London, but it's it's got a lot of similarities because it's an international city. So where I live is like much more interesting and much more cultural for me. Um, the course I'm studying is called Film and Television Production. Most of what we're studying is film. Um, I've studied like several different modules, most of them are surrounding cinematography and directing. A lot of them are the same. For example, we have audiovisual language, which is the same as the directing class, which is the same as um, another class that we're studying, which is pretty much just learning about framing, shot types, camera work, lighting, everything like this. So it's kind of like I have maybe like four different courses which are exactly the same, and the teachers don't know what the other teachers have taught us, so it's kind of a bit like we're just being taught the same thing over and over again. Um, I do like the classes, I do like the course, but the organisation of the course is crap. Um, we have not got a course, a module leader, no, a course leader for the whole course. We just go to the classes and the teachers know they have to teach that class, but they don't know anything else about the, the course as a whole. So, for example, we didn't get our marks for six months. We had to, we only got our marks when we had to do, like, um, our appraisal for our scholarship. So we had to make sure we actually passed the year to get the scholarship for next year. And if it wasn't for that, then like, we'd never have got the marks. Um, there's so many problems, I'm not even gonna get started. But like, basically, um, the classes are good, it's interesting. Um, I'm not learning as much as I would have liked to have learned for my master's degree, but it's still, I'm in another country and I'm learning a lot through that alone. Um, the teachers we have are all foreign, are, are, are all Chinese, non, no foreign teachers. Um, and almost all of them have said to us the only reason they've been asked to teach is because they speak English. So, as you can imagine, the quality of the teaching isn't the best. They speak English, yes, some of them don't speak the best English, some of them have to have a translator, so we spend half a class waiting for to find out what the teacher said and then waiting for the translator to tell the teacher what we've said. So it can get a bit tiring, um, but the ones that do speak English, a lot of them aren't, haven't got degrees in what we're, what they're teaching, aren't they really specialists in what they're teaching, they just kind of have been asked to teach this class, so they've done their own research to teach us, and they're reading from paper and stuff like this. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. We're not necessarily learning what I thought we would be learning, but we are still learning. So far, the projects we've had to do have been um, individual work, so we have to make a film by ourselves, which means we have to find actors by ourselves, we have to find locations by ourselves, we have to write the script, we have to film, we have to edit. 
everything from the start to the end of the whole production we've had to do by ourselves, which is very different to what I've been studying in London, because in London we usually have crews of about six people, so you have a producer, you have a director, you have an editor, you have a camera operator, you have a sound person, someone doing the lighting, and it's like much easier because you only really have to worry about the one like task you're set, but whereas in my university here we have to do everything by ourselves, and it's really hard because like I'm not the best at doing these things and also trying to find people to help you when you don't know anybody in China really except for people who are already also studying themselves is really hard so yeah um so far I've had to do a long take which is like one continuous camera movement without any cuts um I had to do a story that has the subject of suspense a story that has uh the relationship between two people um, and um, just this year we've actually had to do our first group project. Um, we did two films and I was working with two of the guys in my class and we made um, the remake of a scene from The Social Network, which was really fun, <laughs> um, but we actually had like foreign actors acting and they were trying to speak English and um, they had pretty strong accents. So in the end I ended up editing it to the actual, like, dialogue from the actual film and it looks kind of funny so I'll put it on YouTube and you can have a look. Um, also we had to make a story with the subject of a bicycle um, and we had like one week to make this story and we had no time to prepare to plan or anything so I don't think the story is that good um, and like some of the filming is a bit poor but it was fun to make and it was interesting I just kind of hope we can Next time we have a film, have a little bit more warning in advance. Um, in my class, I have five people, normally five people. Me, um, a guy from Madagascar, a guy from Afghanistan, a girl from Jamaica and a girl from Kenya. Last year we had some exchange, an exchange student from America for this one semester. This year we've got an exchange student from Finland. Um, and also there's another guy from Argentina who's doing some of our classes. Um, so yeah, there's normally like five, six or seven people in our class, which is so different because in my university in London we had 30 people, maybe 50 people actually, but normally we'd be split into two groups of 25, but still like compared, it's so different. Um, and also in the Chinese classes they have about 30 to 40 people in like lecture style classes, so our classes are good because it's more of discussion, everyone just puts their own ideas forward and the the teacher carries on teaching and we, then we just have discussions as it goes but like the way they teach in China is very much a one directional way so the teacher talks the students write down notes and listen and at the end of the class if they have any questions they're supposed to ask the teacher and like there's this whole thing about Chinese face so like if you confront a teacher or someone of authority someone that's higher up in the hierarchy than you then it's really disrespectful so you shouldn't really do it so a lot of the teachers we have have lived in America, have studied abroad, blah, 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 blah. So they are kind of cultured in the way that we, like, operate. But some of the teachers have never been abroad. For example, like our Chinese culture teacher, teaching us Chinese culture, she'd never been to America or anything. So she didn't really understand that, like, maybe we were going to ask questions. So she had this PPT and she was just sticking to it. And every time anyone had any suggestions or made any, like, like, for example, there's a girl from Kenya, she was, like, saying, oh, it's quite similar to the African history and blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, no, no, and then just carried on talking, like, not going to accept anything anyone else is saying, just listen to what I'm saying kind of thing. So it's, like, so different. So, yeah, that's all I have to say, I think, today about that. And maybe I'll make some more videos because it's, like, much quicker to, write, to make a video than it is to write. But I don't know how it will upload because the internet here is so slow. Like, I can't even explain to you how slow the internet is. Um, so maybe this will take three days to upload this video, but we'll see. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to go.